Hello, I'm Chris. Welcome back or welcome to. And tonight I'm out in my little DIY observatory imaging the Whirlpool Galaxy. The Whirlpool Galaxy is actually two galaxies that are kind of merged. So there's two cores and it's a grand design spiral galaxy. So the structure of the arms is just really nice and obvious and it's incredible to look at. It's such a it's such a gorgeous thing to look at. I'm not sure the beings in M51, looking back at our galaxy, have the same awe as I do of their galaxies or galaxies, but certainly really is my favorite to the point where I actually considered trying to get it tattooed on my arm at one point. I'm not sure I'll get around to that now or how it would actually turn out. Anyhow, yeah, um, a few things have gone wrong tonight, as it always does with imaging. And uh, yeah, I was getting PhD set up for guiding. I couldn't get my camera connected at all. Uh, so I swapped the USB cables over with the one that was going to the mount, because the mount was connecting to ASCOM OK. And uh, then it wouldn't connect to ASCOM, but it would connect to the, the camera. So it looks like I've got a dodgy USB A to USB B cable. So I know what I'll be ordering, but hopefully I can get the guiding sorted out. But thankfully, it's uh, the good old Gem 45 is back on form of its unguided performance because I'm getting three minutes unguided. I could probably push it further, but I'm not going to push my look because I want to crop in quite far into the image to frame M51 nicely. Um, I've still not collimated this telescope, so it's only 90% perfect collimation. It's not 100%, but it still seems sharp enough um, unless you zoom super close in, but I'm not going to I'm going to frame the galaxy, so it's going to be okay. I'm using the Stella Lyra Coma Correct tonight, now that I've got the correct spacers, because that does require around 70 to 75 mil backspacing. So I needed to add an extra 20 mil spacer. And that's kind of hanging out the focuser some way, because I couldn't reach focus with it all the way in. So I pulled it out, managed to get focus, locked it off, and then carried on. But what I should have probably done was grab a two inch extension tube so it's a bit more secure and it's less likely to have a bit have, have any sag. So I'm not sure all my corners are going to be the same. This is a work in progress. Quite often you do have to kind of tweak the backspacing with coma correctors. I think on the whole things are going okay. And at the end of the video, as always, I'll show the total integration time so you can judge the image on that. I'm a lazy git, so it's probably just gonna be light frames. I used to take everything, darks, flats, bias, everything. And now, after years of doing it, I just got sick of doing it. I don't know why. Just enjoy capturing the lights. Does anyone else feel like that? Does anyone else feel like the other stuff's just a, a chore? But it's, not a chore when you sit down to process and realise that you've got your work cut out for you. Maybe I just like the challenge of just trying to process pure light frames and GIMP without the help of flats, dots and bias. Maybe I like that challenge, who knows, maybe I'm a masochist. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to go and grab my binoculars and enjoy the sky because it looks really nice tonight. And uh, I saw a shooting star behind me a minute ago, so that was really cool. And uh, as always, special thank you to my channel members, Dan the Man, Four Grapples and Ziggy Friends. Thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, please tell those clouds to sod off.